Well, guys, you are looking at the newest lockpick set on the market. I've been waiting six, a little over six weeks to get this. I ordered these from Mad Bob's in the UK, sight unseen. When they first announced a new product, I placed my order without even knowing what I was going to get. Uh, they, they're known for high quality products, and I got to tell you, I'm not disappointed in any way. This is the new Paragon set. Um, when I bought it, and right now the price on these, again, exchange rate and everything, I paid $44.78, the equivalent, and then $7 to get it shipped to my door. Total invested price, $52. You get a total of eight picks and five different tensioners. Uh, this roll-up case, you saw it folded, I think. That's how it came shipped in the envelope. You can roll it up and then use these little ties to tie it in a roll. When it's rolled up, because this little flap's on there, nothing's going to be falling out of it. Pretty cool, pretty cool case. All right, let's start with the important stuff, because I think a lot of times tensioners are as important, if not more important, than what picks you get. And you get a pretty good selection here. You get two bottom of the keyway tensioners, and these are what I would categorize as the medium width. They measure three millimeters in width, which works out to 0.12 inches in width, so the medium thickness. Every other th dimension on these is the same. They're finished identically, very smooth, a lot of attention to detail. One has a twist and one doesn't. That's really the only difference. When you look at them very closely, all of the edges have been buffed very nice. Even the part that goes nowhere near the lock they took the time to round that off and buff it smooth. So when you're tensioning, it's nice not to have to worry about some sharp edge gouging in the palm of your hand. Uh, a lot of attention went into these as well. So these are the three Mad Bob's top of the keyway tension set. Uh, again, finished exactly the same. Very nice, very all stainless steel, smooth on every single edge. Uh, you get three different widths. It's kind of hard to tell because these are not marked. But when you look at them from the end, I think you can see they are three different widths, and they measure 0 0.8 millimeters, which is 31 thousandths, 1 millimeter, which is 40 thousandths, and 1.2 millimeter, which is 47 thousandths. The way I tell the difference is on my set, I just put a piece of shrink wrap on there, and I know red is the thick one, white is the medium one, and blue is the thinnest one. That's how I keep track. You can come up with your own system, but these are not marked in any way, so keep from fumbling around, put some kind of color code or marking on there, keep them straight. All right, now we get to the picks, which is what everybody wanted me to start with. You think these are finished nice? Take a look at these. I have been playing with these quite a bit. Um, I did not finish these. This is exactly how they come from the factory. You notice there are no burrs, it's nicely polished. All of the edges are rounded off and polished bright very very well done somebody paid a lot of attention on these it's stainless steel measures 20 thousandths of an inch so if you're only going to have one thickness of pick 20 thousandths is about perfect it's thin enough to get into most paracentric locks and it's tough enough to use some of your rougher techniques against you know master locks and some of those other locks that can be bullied so pretty cool um, ergonomic these handles are i believe they're probably made out of some kind of plastic but the thing that I'm amazed by, somebody took time to put in four Torx screws in order to hold these handles on there. So you got two on that side, and you roll it over, and you got two more on that side. So if, for whatever reason you don't like handles, you can pop out those four Torx screws, and you've got handleless picks. Skeletonized, but handleless. Just beautiful. You notice I've been showing you this uh, city rake here, and this is what most of them look like. So let me, let me actually give you two city rakes. And you get, let me hold them up side by side. The bottom one is low, high, low. So high in the middle and then low on both sides. And then the top one is just the opposite, almost a mirror image. You got high on either end and a low spot in the middle. So very cool. If you rake a lock one way, these are really designed to simulate uh, keys. Let's try it. I got a, I'm going to go ahead and use the tensioner that they gave us. Just touch this, touch that dude right in there. How to be good. All right, so if one doesn't work, you just grab the other one. So I'm going to take it, slide it in there, and I'm not going to slide it in and out like a rake, even though it's called a rake. I'm just going to put it in and then just kind of kind of rake a little. I mean, kind of flop it up and down to simulate that key. Of course, we got an open. Just happen to get lucky. But that's when they work, that's how fast these guys can work. So pretty cool tools to have in your kit, a couple of rakes. Um, we also have a Bogota. You guys have seen me use these time and time again. Beautiful, well-polished, everything rounded. 
They really did some good work on this. I am not disappointed. I'm almost tempted to keep this kit. Um, snake rake. It's a slightly different snake rake. It's a little bit exaggerated on the hump. I don't know why, but, you know, your lock doesn't care. I hope. Let's try it. Light tension. Turn it with a hump up. Slider in there. And let's see if we can get this lock to cooperate with us. Maybe I ought to go back and use that city rig again. That definitely worked. There we go. All right, lock doesn't care what the hump what the hump is like. It's going to work. Sooner or later, you're going to get in there. And then we got some. We set all the stuff off to the side here. Now we got the hooks, and this is one of my favorite ones. You guys have seen me. I adopted this pick about three years ago and just fell in love with it. Just because of the shape, nice high rise on it. You got good feel. Give you access to some of those deep cut pins that are hiding in the very back of the lock. I really like the DeForest Diamond. Um, you get a short hook. Actually, you get a ver three versions of hooks. I'm just going to hold them all up here at the time. Just slightly different in shape. You get a standard or short hook, and that would be the guy in the middle. And then you get two slightly different ones. This one has a little bit more of a bow in it. I would think he'd be useful for manipulating locks where you have to slightly rotate the pin but just give you one more option for hooks. So th those are your eight different uh, picks inside of the Paragon kit. I am not disappointed at least. I think this is for the price, for the quality that you're getting, for these nice, very unique handles. I have no complaints whatsoever. They're ergonomic. I've been, like I said, I've been using them for a while. They're very comfortable to hold, very comfortable to use, and you get great feedback because the shank goes through the entire handle, so you get good feedback passed from the tip of your finger all the way back to the palm of your hand or the edge of your hand there. So I would say this is probably a recommended buy. If you want to get these, you better get them quick, but uh, Mad Bob's is habitually, it seems like they're back order for almost everything they have in their in their uh, inventory. I don't know why that is, but I encourage you, if you're looking for a quality set of picks, take a look at this. Suck up that six-week wait. Pay your money and wait the six weeks, and you get a set like this. Great little kit. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Now let's give it away, guys. Right there. Go to the website. In the middle of the webpage, there's a purple bar. Click on it. Register. With a little bit of luck, you'll be the lucky winner of this brand-new Paragon. I may have to keep, I'm going to keep this one. No, I'm joking. Thanks, guys.